So that was your final answer. Okay. Example two. Find the exact value of tangent of 22.5 using tangent of A over 2 equals the sine of A over 1 plus cosine of A. So this problem gave you one of those tangent identities to use. So again, we need to find what A is. So A is going to equal 22.5 times 2, and that's going to give us our exact value of 45 degrees. So I'm going to say the tangent of 22.5 is going to equal the tangent of 45 over 2. And then we're just going to use 45 degrees for our A. So we're just plugging that in. So the sine of 45 degrees divided by 1 plus the cosine of 45 degrees. So when we go to do this, the sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2. The cosine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2. So again, we have fraction and we have fraction. And I know just as much as I don't like fractions, you guys don't like fractions. So we are going to multiply this whole thing by 2 over 2. So what does that do? It cancels out those lovely denominators. So this is going to cancel with this. And then we're going to have to do the distributive property again. Two times, so up in our numerator, we'll have just the square root of 2. And then in the denominator, we'll have 2 plus the square root of 2. Now, you think we're done. We're not. Remember, you can never have a square root in the bottom. You can never have a square root in the denominator at all. So you got to multiply by that conjugate. And remember that the conjugate is technically just what's in the denominator with the opposite sign in the middle. So we're going to multiply by 2 minus the square root of 2 in both the numerator and the denominator. So up here again, distributive property in our numerator, we'll end up with two square roots of two. That's taking this times this. And then this times this is just going to give us a minus two. And then in the denominator, FOIL method, difference of squares, just going to multiply the first term. So we have a four. And we're going to multiply the last terms because that middle term cancels out. So we're left with four minus two. So then... Our final answer, well, not our final answer. We will have 2 square root of 2 minus 2, and that's going to be over 2. So now you're probably like, why aren't we done yet, Miss McAllister? Well, we can technically factor out a 2. So I'm going to factor out a 2 in the numerator, and that's going to leave me with the square root of 2 minus 1. And in that denominator, we have that 2. So now my 2s can cancel. And technically, my final answer is the square root of 2 minus 1. All of this, this right here is the only trig part in this whole problem. The rest of this is basic algebra skills. This is stuff you have learned in Algebra 1 and 2. This is the only thing that's trig up here. So just like once you, if you have to take calculus, once you get through the calculus concepts, it's nothing but algebra. That's why algebra is a foundation. So this is nothing but simplifying in algebra. This is the only trig part in this whole problem. If you look back at the first example, this was the only trig part in this example. This is algebra. This is stuff you have been doing since you were in middle school. Your homework is posted on the agenda on Schoology. If you have any questions, message me.